to use its faded jeans. It's a beautiful blue. I'm just gonna put that much paint in it. So, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of water. And I'm gonna mix it up so it is kind of runny. And this is a junk gypsy paint, and it's a mix between clay and chalk paint. It's supposed to be a ratio of one and one. I'm just gonna do the fabric piece of it, and then I have to let it sit for 24 hours before I can handle the rest of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it here. And I'm gonna use my bigger brush on this one because I like the feel for it. And sometimes you just have to play around with your brushes. I like to, you have to wet it down a little bit. It needs something to stick on with this. So that's what the water base is for. And because this is such a, it's a darker material, Probably gonna take at least two coats and you wanna get it, make sure it's wet. So it is gonna take some time to get it in there because you have to get the grooves. And I, you could just, just rub it off if you happen to get on here. There's nothing in the water, it's just plain water. Just plain water. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to make it a little bit more runnier and I'm going to keep wetting it if it dries. It's going to be it's going to be hard. So what I have to do after I finish with it, I'm going to have to go and I'm going to sand it down and to soften it up and open it up again. And then I'm going to apply the paint all over again that process. Sometimes it takes 3 coats sometimes two, um, just depending on your fabric. You want to use a low uh, type of nap on your fabric. That's right. It's really low. The taller it is, the more difficult it's going to be. And you want to use something that doesn't have any really any pattern because the patterns are really hard to hide under paint. So you want, the lighter your, you know, and the less uh, intricate your pattern is, the better you're going to be. Um, and being able to hide it. Do you have to let this dry in between coats? Yes, I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'm going to test it out tomorrow and sand it tomorrow. And the trick is to get it all in those little, between all those little pieces of material. And I'm already loving the color and the look of it. It's that old blue jean look and I love it. And if I happen to get some of the dry paint, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because I'm gonna cover it up um, with another coat of paint. And I'm even gonna look at maybe doing some nice gold touches on this piece. On the brass. Yeah, on the, yeah. This is a faded jean by Junk Gypsy. And this is a nice way to get an old chair that has so much character, but you, you know, it still has, the upholstery still intact well. part and if I add a little bit more water it's not going to hurt it or anything and this one is a little bit more watery and but don't worry about it because I can add some more paint and again this is our junk gypsy paint this is a faded jean um, a really nice beautiful blue and I love the way it's coming out on this orange <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep going over it and if your fabric gets 
to uh, dry. Continue to put a little bit. Don't over drench it, but keep it moist. using a 80 grit um, sandpaper. It's a block. I'm a little bit of work on it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. And don't be afraid to put some, you know, muscle behind it. And I'm going to sand all this down. And once you sand it down, I was really, really happy with it because it is so soft now. Using this paint, I'm so surprised because now it is very, very soft. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Once I finish sanding this down, some of the color will come through, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat on it, wet it down again, spray it down. I'm gonna mix my paint, half um, junk gypsy paint and half water, and I'm gonna start applying this all over again. And then once it's dry for 24 hours again, I'm gonna sand this down and I think that'll be the end of my coats. And at that point, I'm gonna wax it. Then I'm gonna paint my uh, wood on my chair. And I'm so excited that this has turned out to be very, very soft. And um, I think it's gonna come out really, really, really nice.